Okay, today I'm going to show you how to add a solid state fuse uh, to a jumper wire so you have some kind of a circuit protection so you don't overload it. I think these are called PTCs. Uh, what I like to use them for is in place of a fuse because when they blow they reset automatically. Um, not real sure. I'm sure, there's probably some nerds out there who can tell me which side's positive or negative or if it makes any difference. I've never found it to make any difference as far as uh, which side you use for positive or negative current flows through it. When it overloads, it just opens up inside and shuts off. This one's rated, I think, around 7 8 amps. So, what I'm going to do is I've got a wire here, it's my jumper wire. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to solder this thing in here, heat shrink it, and then I will have a solid state protected solid state protected jumper wire. So take one end here. I'm going to connect this up. solder this together and then we're going to put a heat shrink on it. So I'll pause this. Okay, I'm going to solder the wires onto here. Probably wouldn't be a good idea to get it too hot up the wire towards the PTC so you don't damage the solid state circuitry. Make sure I get it good down here. Okay, one down. Let's get the other one on it. There we go. Got them both soldered. Next comes the heat shrink. So in case you've never used heat shrink before, highly recommend it for electronic circuits. And for this application, I'm going to scoot it all the way to the top and cover it all the way to the bottom. And then I'm going to put one great big piece on afterwards. Use a hot air gun uh, just so I don't burn up my electronics and stuff. It's a little more controlled. Also does a nice job as you can see. Okay, now to finish this off, I've got some really big heat shrink here. I'm just going to slide down over the top of this. That like so. And that'll just kind of help from ripping the wires apart. Might make the PTC last longer. Uh, those little wires don't get bent in and out of there without a little bit of sacrifice. So if we do this last step, it might make it last a little bit longer. Okay, and there you have it, a PTC protected thermal device.